one of the Castro's oldest and most beloved bars, Harvey's, has now closed its doors. As KTV's Tom Baker tells us, it was a victim of more than just the pandemic. Originally opened in 1974 as the Elephant Walk, it was renamed Harvey's in 1988 in honor of assassinated supervisor Harvey Milk. It closed forever on Sunday. All of our institutions in the neighborhood are closing. We didn't just go there for a drink and we went there to hang out. We went there to connect with people, especially in the worst years, the worst year, A's years. Well, you don't have really the Castro as we have it or know it without having Harvey's. I've lived here 10 years and it has been kind of distressing to see what hap what's happening to the Castro. Castro businesses, like pretty much all small businesses, suffer from lack of workers and inflation. But Supervisor Rafael Mandelman, who represents the Castro, says quality of life issues weighed in heavily. We have the, some of the same challenges around street conditions, around folks with significant behavioral health problems and um, addictions um, on the streets. A challenge for people who are coming to the neighborhood and, and residents and tourists. And just as culpable in the supervisor's view, landlords unwilling to negotiate um, you know rent reductions and who once their space becomes vacant don't seem to have the urgency around refilling them I walked up and down both sides of the 500 block of Castro Street and I counted 40 storefronts of which eight are vacant that is 20 percent and that number seems to be growing optimists say what made the Castro hope and love will probably save one of the city's greatest neighborhoods and tourist attractions. Friends of mine who've been here for decades say there's always a up and down. It comes in phases. And everybody complains that it looks like the Castro is dying um, and then it recovers. So as an optimist, I think that will happen. I love my town. I will never think that San Francisco is less than, you know, Atlantis or the Emerald City. What a wizardly thing to say. Tom Vacar, KTVU, Fox 2 News.